Hello, U-Haul calling. Are you looking for a truck? What? U-Haul, are you looking for a truck? Trailer? Does it look like I'm looking for a fucking truck? You called earlier for a truck. I don't want no truck. I don't want nothing to do with no truck. You really put me in a spot tonight. Do you know that? And I'm very disappointed with you. Why you did a shame? You know, I had a lot of faith in you. When, when you put all the eggs in one basket like you did, the only person, the only person that you, have, <laughs> what are you nuts? is that funny to you? It's not funny to me. I lost my pet. Would you lose your pet? Yes. Was it a dog or a cat? It's a gerbil, and it's in your ass. Oh. Hello. I've been scared by worse dogs than you. Hello. Hello, hello. It's very serious. Mm-hmm. I think you're here. Hello. Yeah, I'm here. Good Saturday to you. Did you know that uh, Sunday night is taco night? Yeah. Black taco I'm night. Black taco. Did you ever try the black taco? I don't care. What? You heard me. What's your problem? Um, I need to know something. What's that? Do you know the way to San Jose? I've been away so oh, long. You get off it. L.A. is a great big freeway. Oh, yeah. Put a hundred down and buy a car. Let me talk to somebody else, please. In a week or two, they'll make you a star. Idiot. Let me ask you this. How many years are you spent in prison? Uh, several, really. <laughs> How'd you know? Yes. Well, they were white-collar crimes, so... Right. You're like a white necklace kind of guy. Um, Billy Goo. Hello? Billy Goo, Billy Goo, you know it's true, I miss you. Bill's not here. Oh. I think you have the phone number. No, I don't think so. You just said Bill's not there. Come on, I'm looking for someone I haven't seen in 20 years. Help me out here. There is no Bill here. What's your name? Jeremy, are you from um, uh, Tennessee? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm from here in Brownwood. Oh, me too. Crap. Um, I live right over by where OJ used to stay. Listen, I need to ask you for a big favor. Okay. They're letting me out, um, and I need a place to stay. Do you think I can maybe crash there for one day, two tops? Uh, no, you can't. I'm sorry. Dude, I don't got nowhere to go, man. They freaking took my freaking rascal. Can I, how about this? I've got, I was actually, I'm a Gulf War veteran. And I'm going to be honest with you, right now I'm going to tell you, um, I'm not looking for any pity or charity or anything, but can I just, I have a, I actually have like a military issue tent. Can I just pitch a tent in like a little spot on your yard? No, you can't, I'm sorry. There's not an ordinance or anything, I don't think. You'll be helping out a veteran. I know, I understand. I'll weatherproof your house for you, dude. Yeah. Mac McGee, please. Huh? Mac. I've got fluid in my ear. What do you know? What do you know about Mac McGee? Well, what I know about let me tell you a little something I know about Mac McGee. You got some huh? you got some time? Huh? The Mac McGee I knew would uh, throw himself in front of a truck for his buddy. Mac McGee was unselfish. He was unwithering. He could stand in the wind and look straight into it and not blink his eye. Mac McGee was a good man. He was a strong man. Mac McGee knew everything. I could count on Mac McGee for an answer. And even if it was wrong, even if I thought he was full of shit, he still gave me an answer. 
He looked me in the eye. He was honest. Mac McGee didn't wear his pants around his, his goddamn ankles like a lot of these people do. You could never see Mac McGee's underwear. Where is Mac anyway? Mac, don't be at home. I love Mac. What's that? He's supposed to be home? Yeah. He'll be Who home. Are you? My name is, uh, my name is Glib. It's funny because y'all's name is McGee. My name's Magoo. Galib Magoo. You remember, you ever heard him talk about me? I'm that good, I'm that good looking fella. I didn't mean to call you so late, but I couldn't sleep. Where you at? I'm up the road by, I live by that new pizza hut. Smells like onions all the time around here. Every time I'm about to get to sleep, I get a whiff of onions. I love you. I gotta go though. I'm getting ready to. The only way I can get to bed is to stuff uh, bound, uh, bounce sheets in my nose because I can't get the smell of onions off me. Mm. But anyway, next time I cook up crawfish, I'll be down there. I tell, will you tell Mac I called? You have to tell me your name again. My name is uh, Glib Magoo. It's what? Glib, G L I B. M A G O O Magoo. Glib Magoo. I love you. Take care. How come you know when Mac? How come you know Mac? I know Mac because, uh, did I tell you what I think about Mac? I think Mac's the nicest man in the world. I remember there was one time when I got hit by a car and my legs were broken and, uh, he he wouldn't take me to the hospital, but he called an ambulance for me when he got over to on the other side of the bridge. I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Hello. Hello. Uh, I'm calling about the uh, Harley Davidson for sale. I hate to be calling so late. Okay. Well, uh, my friend who's selling it, you know, he's in here right now. Right. You know, if you give me your name and number. Have to get back to you. All right. Um, maybe you could even ask just a couple simple questions. But first, my my, my name is uh, Rascal. Is R? Rascal? Yep. R A S C A L. R A S C Rascal. Okay. Right on. Hubbard. H U B B. H U B B. A R D. Okay. All right. And, uh, I actually got a lot of motorcycles, and uh, I, this is it seems like a good price. Have you seen the back? Does it look good? Yeah. Yeah, it's right out here in the back. I mean, you know, I've seen it. It looks good. I didn't hear it run, but um, I, I mean, it just looks in good shape. Okay. And I know my, my friend who has it takes care of his stuff. Right. All right. I mean, he takes care of his, you know, his house, to his electronics, to his motor. He has another motorcycle. He takes care of them. All right. You know, I think you'd be impressed with it. Best. Uh, if, I can, if I can get your number, yep. you know, I can have you holler. All right. My number is, uh, it's uh, area code 262214. Okay, so that's area code 262214. That's right. And I, I just moved up here from Fort Lauderdale, and, and believe it or not, I, I actually founded a bike club in Fort Lauderdale. Now, now my problem is, though, is uh, I actually had an accident last year. And uh, there was a, I lived by an airport, and a tire had fallen off a Cessna and hit me in the back of the head. And actually, my head kind of looks like a semicolon. They they did a lot. I'm I'm lucky to be walking, so I'm actually learning how to ride all over again. Now, do you think that this guy that's selling this, if maybe he's asking 69, maybe if I offer him 72, 75, maybe he'd be willing to teach me how to ride again? Phil? Oh, yeah. yeah, Phil, P-H-I-L. Gotcha. Okay, and, uh, you know, that'd be a question I think only he could answer you. All right. You know, he's an avid writer. He just really enjoys himself with it. That's how I, I was, you know, until that accident. And uh, But I'm getting better, and actually, I, I walk pretty good now. I just kind of have a lean. Yeah. But I think yeah. he could help me. That's why, you know, I kind of I knew something in the paper told me. It said, call this dude. So, dude, man, have Phil call me. And, uh, if, you know, even if he can't help me ride, 
you know, maybe he could, you know, prop me up when I go out. Well, yeah, sure. I mean, I, I'm sure he'll be able to help you in any way uh, he can. But what's a good time for him to get a hold of you? I don't know if he'll be back, you know, until late tonight, but what about tomorrow? I'm available at any hour except for nine, between 9 a.m. and 11 because that's when I watch my, ju my judge shows and I don't like to be bothered. Okay, so I'll just say don't. That's super. Okay. And I'll have him give you a call. I'm sure, you know, he'll be interested in uh, hearing from you. Hell and yeah. And I'm sure he'll go ahead and give you a call tomorrow. Okay, rascal, man. I'll be looking forward to seeing you back on the bike, bro. Thanks, man. Take it easy. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Right,